वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन गिवन टू अस इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल विद अ पर्पल लाइन सेगमेंट इन साइड इट द डिस्टेंसेज आर गिवन एज एट सेंटीमीटर एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ दिस पर्पल लाइन सेगमेंट एंड हाई पॉट न्यूज आर ज्वाइन टूगेदर एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस लिमिटेड डाटा वी हैव टू फाइंड लेंथ ऑफ दिस रेड लाइन सेगमेंट और वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन टू वेज एंड इन आर सेकेंड लॉजिकल अप्रोच we'll learn how to solve these geometrical questions in less than a minute let's check our first approach the formal approach for that let's draw perpendicular from point c to h such that the length ch is same as 8 cm let's join eh here now in this right angle triangle If we apply Pythagoras theorem, we'll get EH length as 10 cm. Now let's join DG here and HG here. Let's assume this angle here is alpha degrees and this angle here is beta degrees. Now if we look at this blue triangle, we'll get that alpha plus beta is 90, and thus here this remaining angle will be nothing but alpha degrees. Now in this triangle DBG. and triangle hcg we have got side lengths as 8 and 8 cm this length bg is equals to cg and they have got angle alpha degree in between them thus by side angle side these two triangles are congruent and therefore the corresponding parts will be equal or these two angles will be equal to each other as these angles are equal and bc is a straight line thus these angles are vertically opposite angles and dh will also be straight line also corresponding parts are equal therefore the side length dg will be equals to gh now if we look at the triangle deh in this triangle f is the midpoint of side length de g is the midpoint of length dh and thus applying midpoint theorem we will get fg length is half of eh length or value of x is 10 upon 2 or 5 cm and that's our answer now let's check the logical approach for same question in our logical approach we learn how to solve similar questions especially when they come in mcq in less than a minute let's first make a copy of this diagram here now here if you'll see the limitation on the question is in any right angle triangle if we'll take a point at 8 cm from one vertex and 6 cm from another vertex and then when we are joining these points and then joining the midpoints the value of x in all such cases should remain same otherwise our question itself will become invalid so let's change this figure slightly now this figure meets all the original conditions of the question so whatever value of x we are getting in this original figure will be same as the value of x we are getting in this new figure how about if we will reduce the length of this purple line segment further or will make this purple line segment as a point line segment and then the midpoint of that point will lie also on the same point only so this purple line segment let's reduce it to a point line segment such that it will lie on the vertex itself now believe it or not this figure meets all the original conditions of the question and thus our answer or value of x should remain same only thing we have done is this purple line segment we have reduced it to a point length and this distances of the vertexes which is 8 here remain same the distance of the vertexes of purple line segment to this hypotenuse vertex is still 8 and here the distance is still 6 and this red line segment is representing joining of midpoint of that purple line which has become a point itself and hypotenuse now to solve this is relatively much much easier and faster now applying pythagoras theorem in this blue right angle triangle we'll get hypotenuse length as 10 cm and if we'll do angle chasing here we'll find these two triangles these are isosceles triangle and x is half of hypotenuse or x is 5 cm and that's our answer 
आई होप यू एंजॉयड द सोल्यूशन आई विल सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन टाटा बाय बाय